In today's video, I want to talk about something that I think is not done enough in our industry, and that is communication across the board. And one of the ways that I think that technicians should be communicating with one another. And you may say, well, why is it a big deal to communicate with one another? We'll get into that in just a moment. We've talked about in other videos where a lot of technicians, when they install new equipment, they don't fill out the paperwork like they should. They don't mark labels the way they should. One of those labels being air handlers have a place, a lot of air handlers have where you can mark what size heat kit was installed in that system or maybe the heat kit itself might come with extra labeling or stickers to put on that air handler. Whatever the case is, a lot of guys don't do it enough. They don't think it's a big deal. And I think, and I believe you should think as a consumer or a homeowner that's now spent a lot of money on that equipment, I think it is a big deal. I think it's important for a number of reasons. And in fact, in those videos that I talked about the labeling, we talked about some of the scenarios where it's a problem for other trades, a problem for the electrician and so on. But I would go one step further. One of the things that I learned from one of the guys that I learned under when I was first learning this trade, he was actually a plumber by trade, but it was something that stuck with me is he carried a magic marker, a permanent marker everywhere he went, and he was constantly writing on the equipment things that were going on. First thing being when the system is installed, an HVAC system or a water heater or any other product, literally writing on that equipment using your best penmanship. So you're not making the system look all, you know, graffitied up if it's in a, an area that is seen, but simply writing on that systems a few bits of information, such as the date it was installed. If someone's in the future trying to figure out, is the system under warranty? That might be a good piece of information to have that they can just literally look at the equipment, look at the cover and say, okay, that was the date that that system was installed. At my company, we were constantly writing on the covers of things. We would, in addition to writing dates on there of when it was installed, but we would even write when things were repaired. So if I had say a TXV replacement, I would write on there TXV replaced on this date. I might write if I had to add refrigerant, added this many pounds of refrigerant on this date. The next technician that comes behind me, what if it's me, right? I'm telling the future me or another technician, hey, I had to add refrigerant on this date and they can automatically go, hey, that wasn't that long ago. Or maybe it was a long time ago and that tells them something as well. Hey, he topped it off. He he added some refrigerant and now I am low again, but it was this many days or this many years since it was a problem. I can't tell you how many times I've had to go behind someone else that that little bit of information would have been huge. It would have told me not only how long ago it was, but how much refrigerant did that last technician have to add? Or if they replaced a part, what part did they replace? Having that information on there would be huge. I've had customers that would say to me, I remember so-and-so company doing some work here and they did something. I don't remember what the part was called and I think they replaced something. It was a TV something. I I don't know. And of course I'm over there like, man, it would be great if that last technician would have written on there. Hey, I replaced this part having that written on there. And of course, so far we've only talked about original parts, OEM parts that were from that or adding refrigerant, right? But what if they added another product? So what if they added something, an accessory such as let's just say a hard start kit on that system, having that written on there would be nice to know hard start kit installed on this date. If they would just take that moment. They may not not even want to write on the outside of the unit because if it's on an outdoor unit, it may wear off after time with the weather and so on. So going in there and on the inside of that cover, writing some information like that would be great. Products like dye. So if the system, you know, was low on refrigerant and the customer decided, hey, I don't really want to invest in a huge repair right now, just charge the system and add some dye to it. Having that information in there, I would know as the next technician, hey, this system has dye in it. Let me grab my light. Let me see if I can go find this leak. Now that I'm low on refrigerant again, I now know as the future technician to grab my light, to go around and try to find that leak. And then lastly, having a log of maintenance on there, I can tell you on my personal system at my own home, we write on there maintenance performed and then I've got a list of dates under there. And then I've got a whole house home filter that we've got media replaced. And then I've got a whole bunch of dates under there. Every time I replace that media, I write on there the next date. 
the most recent time that that filter was replaced. I don't think any of this is done enough. This is all something that you as the homeowner can request. You can ask that technician, hey, do you mind just writing on there what you did, what the date was? It's not a big deal. And then lastly, if you just get some knucklehead that just refuses to do that, then you can even write on there, hey, here's what his paper says. It says he did this, this, and this. And you can actually write on that unit talking to the future technician, this is the date and this is the repair that was performed. It doesn't take that long to do this and it's just one more thing that a pro could do to make your life easier to, and also to make their life easier. If they're willing to do these things and to take the next step and to be better, then maybe their life could be made a little easier in the grand scheme of things. Let me know your thoughts, comment down below. Is this something you've seen done before? Have you seen something better done before? I know there's softwares out there that can have all kinds of different ways of communicating and taking pictures and so on. But, you know, if you switch companies, then all that is lost, right? Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about some of the challenges of reusing ductwork. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.